feature in any video yet. Oh, Lord, what are we doing with ourselves what are we here? Doing? I mean, we're trying to get exposure, and I haven't exposed people to you. What is this? What are you doing? You're keeping the world from me. I was not ready for this. <laughs> no, it's not. YouTube's not ready for this. <laughs> All right. Cheers. What's um, up? So, uh, hey everybody, it's Dr. Warren here at Kelstein Chiropractic in Towson slash Baltimore slash Maryland uh, area. <laughs> um, welcome back. We are, talked about some different headaches. I'm just pulling out some soft tissue cream. I'm not scratching my butt. Um, we're going to talk about cluster headaches today. Um, and we talked about migraines, tension headaches. Mm -hmm. We've talked about, um, uh, we've talked a little bit about nystagmus and uh, benign positional vertigo in the past. If you've caught up on one of those videos, where there's a little inner ear disturbance and it causes you to have vertigo-like symptoms. Um, but today we're going to talk about cluster headaches. Let's just recap because it's not like, what are these headaches? How do I know if I got one of these? Cluster headaches are a little bit more rare, um, just like Dayglo here. <laughs> a rare breed. You're a rare, you're a rare kid. <laughs> This, uh, we're gonna do, so if, if you're wondering what type of treatment we're doing today, we're gonna focus on soft tissue work on Steph's neck. She is the uh, patient where she doesn't prefer to get her neck cracked, right? Which is not allowed. You have to get your neck cracked when you come in here. Have to. Have to. Must. What? You see a chiropractor get your neck cracked. Or, no, not always, actually. <laughs> that's not the case. Uh, yeah. You can just get your neck, uh, have soft tissue work done or dropped if that's what you prefer in our office. Um, we don't make you sign a paper when you come in saying, Your neck's getting cramped. <laughs> <laughs> no, none of them like that. We want to treat you for the problem that you have in the most clinically effective way that you prefer to be treated with, right? That's important. Um, so uh, soft tissue work for our neck and then we're going to show you how we drop it very gently. It's a very nice way to get mobility to the joints without uh, any of the uh, cracking of the neck. Okay. Uh, still clinically effective for treating muscle tension and joint tension in the neck. So recap on headaches and migraines and all the things we talked about. We talked about tension headaches where your, your musculoskeletal system is causing tension which is re recurring, uh, or causing or occurring with a headache, right? And those are movement based, those are increased with stress, those are increased with uh, triggers like um, uh, prolonged exercise or lack thereof. Um, and uh, there's a certain timeliness to it, right? Um, so it's a little bit more uh, slow oncoming and it stays with you until you do something to break that trigger, that cycle. And it usually has an effect, especially when it revolves around moving things, so stretching and, and adjustments of tissue or trinealing is very effective for it. So that's more of the tension style headache. Okay, migraines, all right, uh, unilateral eye pain, auras, right, you have uh, a trigger, sleep helps, um, uh, there's uh, an effect on your pressure in your head, right, um, those are migraine symptoms, right, you get a lot of it more, uh, eye symptoms, pressure, sleep helps, rest helps, gentle soft tissue work helps, um, closing your eyes help, there's a lot of sensory irritation, so noises, Irritated, like if I do that to someone that's not having a migraine, it's not as likely to cause irritation. Okay, and then you can have sinus type uh, headaches, right? Sinus pressure, etc. So we've talked about those in the past. You can kind of get an idea of them. cluster headaches. This is how you can remember what a cluster headache is. Uh, remember it as the alarm clock headache. That sounded really like to you. I've never told her that. What? Why do you think I would call it an alarm? Because it comes on 2.5 seconds. Boom. And can it wake you up? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like middle of the night, you're like, what? My what? eye like droops sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like both my eyes, like I can't keep them wide open as as well when I don't have one. Right. But yeah, they come on like punch in the face. So no, I'm cool with you running on with your symptoms. That's uh, another symptom of a cluster headache is it's tearing in the eye. Um, mm -hmm. There's a really great picture in the store in the book that I study, right, in the textbook that I look at with these type of clinical problems, right, and it's this picture of this guy. With, with his eye, like he's grabbing his eye, right? It's so intense. Uh, these are really painful, okay? Like I, I'm, I know we're laughing a lot and joking here, but when she has them, it's awful. And, yeah, it's and we can understand that uh, clinically and we can understand that because we know her. Um, so they're the worst, one of the worst type of headaches you can get. So, um, tearing in the eye, uh, there's a period uh, of time where you'll get them and then you'll have a break. And then you'll get them and then you'll have a break. So it's very, very, it's a, uh, it's a tease for sure. 
so what does this all mean? Like, what, where are these coming from, right? Mm -hmm. uh, most likely, there's certain irritants that can cause them, right? Um, and, and, and irritants can be uh, lack of sleep, right? Or it could be a substance that can cause it. Like alcohol and tobacco could be things that, that causes it, right? Alcohol, uh, for sure. Alcohol is a trigger for her, right? Mm -hmm. So that's one of those things that can irritate it. Um, Sleep is really closely tied with these because they have this almost like a circadian rhythm type of an occurrence. Um, and there's some studies in the hypothalamus where they might be associated with cluster headaches, right? So understanding like, what affects your sleep, right? What affects your, your day to day and, your, and the things that trigger them for you. So yeah. making sure that you're treating your body right. And like we've talked about that with Steph before and she's doing a great job. Like I, I can tell she's doing better just by her energy at 5.30 in the morning is like up there, right? She's ready to go. She's yeah. got a ton of good energy when she treats her body right. So cluster headaches, unilateral, sometimes bilateral, really eye focused, uh, tearing in the eye. It's a really strong sensation that comes about quickly and goes away quickly. And then period of time, boom again. And these have a certain, there's like a, these objective measures, or excuse me, these time measures that you have to have so many and so much amount of time. You kind of know when you get them if you take a good history. Okay. Any other symptoms that I'm not talking about? Do you, do you get sick or nauseous with them? Um, sometimes I get nauseous, but my like one side of my nose will get like really stuffed up sometimes. Okay, sinus irritation. Yeah, so like usually that eye that is tearing is usually that ne like nasal passage that's like dying. The lacrimal duct. God, I hope I'm saying that right. That's a long time since I've taken <laughs> one of those things out. Um, uh, that can. That, that drains into your, into your yeah, uh, nasal yeah. cavity, so if it gets blocked up, it can cause sinus pressure as well. Um, any ear pain at all with these? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, do you get sick at all? I've gotten sick once. Because of the pain? Yeah. Or it was because your it stomach was, hurt? It was the pain. It was one of the, um, I had like one glass of wine, and I went to bed, and like could just not. One. Just one. Literally just one, I swear. <laughs> and I could not sleep. The pain was so bad and just kept getting worse and worse and worse as I was laying there in bed. Like I was like just tears were just I wasn't crying from the pain, but tears were just like falling out of my face, just like involuntarily. It was weird. And then I like ran to the bathroom and threw up once. It was just the wine, and then it went away immediately. Yeah. And then I passed out, like in the bathroom. It, and then it felt better. It was very weird. I got like very close to that happening again, but no alcohol. And that's the only time I've ever gotten like sick from them. So as you can tell by uh, what these are, like I'm the only person in this world that can help with this problem. No, <laughs> no, education. Only. <laughs> the only one. <laughs> Come to me. <laughs> no. Take care of yourself the right yeah. way, and they help. Yeah. Uh, another way to help is to do soft tissue work on the neck when she has tension in her upper back and neck. So I'm going to show you how we do that. I'm just making sure that I'm not needed by the boss. No, we're good. So we're doing a little soft tissue work on our neck. We're gonna do some on our sinuses here. Very gentle. Um, slash, I owe you some soft tissue work. <laughs> she uses it again, like she bargained. She said, yeah, I'll come in early on Friday to do paperwork and if you soft get tissue work. soft tissue work. <laughs> you want me on my back? Yep. <laughs> so, I won't talk during this because <laughs> I'll just do work. I'll just do it. <laughs> I think we got all the talk now. Cluster headaches, alarm clock headaches. How do you help them? You remove the irritants like alcohol and tobacco and lack of sleep. And vaping is considered a part of that process. So if you're, if you're vaping, that can irritate the nicotine. Um, So bend your legs for me. So how people bend their legs when, one, they're just not relaxing, but also when there's just tension in the upper back. And she's got a little tension in the upper back. Almost always. Is this heart? Who is this? I like Mookie Chance, by the way. You, you listen to them? I listen to them. They were good. 
looks like some nice what fucking music. Dude, yes, I just it is. It's great. Love it. They like range so much. So many different types of like songs, I feel like. so fascinating how our nervous system could be so different from person to person in the way that we respond to an input it's uh you have to look at it in the light that it, you know let's say for someone like Deglo where she maybe gets a little bit more excitable right it's easier to excite it's pretty freaking cool she's a pretty cool person <laughs> Sometimes it can spike the point where she gets a headache from it, right? Mm -hmm. So balance is really important. Knowing yourself. And then from like my side of the world, my side of the aisle, clinically speaking, uh, care of my treatment approach is different from di person to person because of how they respond. That's the future of care, in my opinion. That's how I've always approached nutrition. Yeah, you name Everybody it. Everybody takes about, foods differently. How about exercise? Yeah, same thing. All right, let's go with mental health. Oh well, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> how about like name it? Put it in there. Like you just try to apply a system to somebody. And you just you gotta be able to. It's it's a it's complex. Just gotta respect it better that. Maybe just like motivational stuff, like coaching cues and stuff. Right? Totally different. different. Like life coaching stuff, right? Mm -hmm. so I'm just working trigger points in the suboccipital elevator scap, and I'm 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 really just kind of waiting for uh, Steph to let me have her head and relax. <laughs> so that's why I'm being a little bit more patient you know, on different. Uh, parts of the neck. Good. Good. 
rotate your head to your left. Good. And to your right. All the way to the left. Turn your arm around nice and slow. There you go. Good. No pressure. Okay. Good. Good. Come back. Okay. All the way left. Open your jaw. Good. And relax. Okay. Now just gently relax. There you go. Gently open, and I want you to think about pulling your chin forward, gently forward. There you go. <laughs> gently open, and jump forward. There it is. Tiny little muscle back there. Come back. I can feel that. Easy, open up, and jump forward. There we go. It's especially tiny on this step. Not because you're not strong. <laughs> not a tiny individual. Yeah, exactly. Turn your head this way. Right, gently gonna adjust your upper back, okay? So this is the first rib adjustment. I'm gonna put pressure over into your chest wall, right where the rib articulates with the sternum. The top. My hand presses over her hand here. It's very gentle. Her hand reaches across, holds on to me. Good. You take a breath in for me. It's very light, doesn't need a lot of pressure. Use a little bit lower reach. Easy let go. You actually got it on that one. There we go. I feel like we don't usually get those. Hey. <laughs> See, she encourages even me in this song. Oh, how amazing my hair looks. Wait, no, 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 I'm not done with the hair yet. Don't no. touch it. No, no, I still got some work to do there. Oh, <laughs> Come on, just stomach for me. Good, lean on in for me. Okay. So, not done yet with this hair. <laughs> Good, relax your shoulders. So, this is that adjustment I was talking about. Uh -huh. You lift up. Good. And then you'll feel it drop like that, okay? We're just gonna do it over that spot that was a little tight, okay? okay. It's gonna be a little loud, okay? Just like this, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll get it, don't worry. All right, relax. Good. Good, you okay with that? Mm -hmm. Good. Now take a breath in for me, dude, bro. Easy, exhale. Good, right here. Good, let it drop. Good, hips loose. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Not one bit. Okay. Okay. Oh 
It's, um, you got to see me do some soft tissue work on, if you can name where Daglo comes from, cheers to you. Um, on Daglo's neck, uh, we talked about cluster headaches. She drooled a little bit during that talk. <laughs> Fantastic. And if you honestly, if you want someone to change your life from a physical therapy and strength training standpoint, get at this girl because she rocks and she's going to get better and better. Um, and gets her before she bucks out completely. Seriously, keep up the good work. Thanks for watching.